what's up my spaghettis? It's Rachel Janetti and I have wet hair today and we're gonna tell a story. I'm sorry for that intro, that was really cringy. I kind of like it though, so I might keep it. Anyway, I have wet hair today. I kind of look like a dead rat or 2013 Avril Lavigne. I'm not saying she looks like a rat. Let's get on with this. So, you just jumped on my camera. Well, my phone. Hello. So before we get into this, I just want to like preface this by saying, number one, I'm sorry for my cat. He's purring a lot. He's trying to jump on my camera. I, I kind of look like a dead rat. Maybe that's why he's trying to jump on the camera. He's trying to attack me. Also, Urban Outfitters is amazing, but it says creative director. I thought that was perfect for this video. So I bought it. <laughs> and, um, I, well, I bought it before the video, before the story, but I bought it and I was like, this is perfect for me and I wore it because it's perfect for this video, yeah. So you guys, you guys know what's up if you read the title. We're telling a story. So uh, my sister, the greatest sister that she is, is a member of these face Facebook groups. My, my heater just came on. My sister is a member of these Facebook groups that uh, tell you like what the film things are going, what film things are going on in my general vicinity. She uh, got, she was joined them before I got a Facebook because I begrudgingly joined Facebook like a month or two ago. I don't like Facebook. It's all full of like anti-vaxxers. No. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> she's a member of these Facebook groups, and uh, there's this thing that popped up, and they said they wanted extras for this one film that, uh, they wanted extras for this one film that they're shooting in my hometown, which is not that far from my college. So uh, I sent this picture, this, uh, the information to my professor and I asked, why can't we take a field trip? And he was like, we can take a field trip. I'll take the van from the college. Maybe insert video here. I, was very excited. I hadn't really been on a real film fa uh, film set. Not a film fest. I have been to a film fest or two in my life. <laughs> but I haven't been on a film set like that's legit. That's like going to be on TV, you know? You know, mostly just student films and larger productions related to that. And I'm a first year student, like. But anyway. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we take what we call the murder vans because they're big white vans that say the college's name on them. I navigate us back to my hometown and my cat is eating my hair. I nav navigate us back to my hometown and we get there and they are all breaking for lunch. <laughs> of course, of course this would happen. This was my face. I should preface this by saying that uh, my film teacher, knew the director, I, one of the directors, there's two co-directors, I believe, uh, I think they're a father and son duo, I might be wrong, very nice, everybody was so nice there, I have a few things to say at the end, but that's, that's, that's for the end, <laughs> but he knew the directors, and he was like, oh, we can go, and we can talk to them, we can ask them, like, what's it like being a director and stuff, and I want to be a director, so, like, I thought that was pretty helpful, and I was so excited for that. I was waiting and waiting for this. It was, like, 30 degrees out, and I was, like, wearing a jean jacket and leggings. I was very cold, but at least I wasn't wearing a crop top like my friend. <laughs> And um, my cat just ran into my chair, I'm sorry. So uh, we get there and everything is decorated for Christmas. We talked to the PAs and uh, I believe the DAs. They're both so nice. There was one guy that was um, the main guy that we talked to. Um, he's the guy that actually got us into the entire thing. So tell us to come back in like 30 minutes. And so we did. And we come back and we're just like on the side watching everybody. They have like these beautiful giant cameras that are like twice the size of my body. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. We talked to the uh, medic who was also like a PA kind of assisting like with that stuff. And he was like, oh, are you guys extras? And we were like, <laughs> my, I was like, no. But my one friend, Dan, <laughs> immediately cut me off. He's like, yes. 
My teacher corrected him, saying that we weren't because we didn't sign any paperwork. When, you, when you're on set, you have to sign some paperwork to like work with them. That was really funny and that's when um, we are all tweeted like, <laughs> um, we almost accidentally got into a movie today. That was just like a joke kind of thing. A few minutes later, the same PA that we were talking to before comes up to us and was like, hey, do you want to be extras in this movie? And we all said yes, because why not? And it was just so funny because, I don't know, we basically accidentally got into a movie and yeah. But it's called um, A Special Christmas Dinner. It's one of those kind of movies. <laughs> but I got into a movie, no less, and I am, it was really fun. I mean, all I did was walk down the street. Yeah, it was really fun. I, it was cold, but funny thing is, I got a sunburn. A few things I noticed while I was on set, though. But while I'm on the subject of the set, um, and how it was, I wanted to mention a thing or two about the set. Everybody was very nice, let me just say that. I was very happy that everybody was polite, that everybody didn't get in anybody's way, and, and it was all run very smoothly, of course, because this director was good at organizing everything. They were, they knew how to do their job, which is. But the thing I noticed is that uh, it was almost all men. That kind of discouraged me a little bit. Um, it kind of made me nervous. So uh, it just, it was a little bit imposing, but of course I was like with my friends because it um, scares me that I am at quite a disadvantage. Um, in some ways, like, I, I'm not that strong, let me just say, so being a grip might be a little difficult for me. Um, a steady cam is like two-thirds of my weight. <laughs> I don't know, it just, it, it, it was weird. It's hard to explain, you know? Um, you work so hard in this kind of field and you want to have more people like you to be recognized. Of course you want to be surrounded by people who are polite to you, who are accepting of you, who are nice to you. Um, which I, I'm not doubting that they are all nice, they are all polite, but I would just like to see more, um, girls, more females, people who identify as females in the film industry. Of course, I don't know of the entire industry, but just of what I've seen, it, it, it's a little daunting at first, but, um, I managed to make friends with a lot of people because, um, people tend to like me, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But I, I gotta say, I did love the experience on set. I loved how um, everybody worked together. Everybody um, was listening. Everybody responded to commands when the director um, was shouting them. I'm proud of people who follow their passions. Happy to be one of those people who is trying. I don't know if I will succeed in following my passions, but you guys are along for the ride, so eventually we will see. Before I conclude this, I want to thank you guys. I have almost 70 subscribers, which makes me happy. I um, want to thank you guys for supporting me and actually watching my videos. I don't know how well my vlogs did. I haven't looked since I put the last one up because I have been very busy. I have been editing I just scared my cat so bad. Oops. Thank you guys for supporting me. The musical documentary will be out in May. Yes, that's right. May. And I want to thank you for listening this long. I know this is a little bit long story time of something I can say in like two minutes, but um, someone asked me in one of my older videos if I have ADHD, which um, can I just say I don't? <laughs> I just... Quirky. I am... Um, all over the place. So my spaghettis is what I'm gonna call you guys now and if you like this video you should subscribe down below and if you already subscribed you are already halfway there. <laughs> Just keep watching my videos and you're Gucci. I hate myself. So if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter it's all at Rachel Janetti. The links are down below and bye my spaghettis.